morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Sister Neil and to all of you who are gathering on our um, YouTube portal as well, we greet each one of you in the precious name of our Lord and of our Savior Jesus Christ and oh how good and pleasant it is for us to dwell together in unity on this 13th day moving into the middle of the month of November 2020 and just seeing the grace and mercy of our God uh, prevail. It could be worse, it could be worse and for many it is with the number of deaths that um, the coronavirus has um, caused to occur. Those who are sick right now, the number of persons who've been sick um, in, the, in, the, in the outreach of uh, this virus, uh, it's in, in the millions. Um, and we just trust that you and your household um, have smeared some blood <laughs> over your door entrance and that um, um, there are some things that are uh, coming through fresh air uh, but there are some other things that are not coming through air that has been polluted and we would that God would prevail as only he can to provide the level of um, sanitation and anointing and covering that um, will allow such uh, to prevail in your household. Today uh, we're looking at uh, uh, from 31 days of biblical empowerment Jesus is our governor. He, he is the one governing our lives and uh, since that is so, um, we are thriving under his banner, under his care, under his prevailing hand. And um, there is a code of ethics that uh, the Holy Spirit imposes. Uh, that there, there is a covering that God has released upon those that are his in the same sense as uh, a hand covers its brood and uh, a household cover its family members and the prevailing the prevailing hand of God has um, in every instance given us the covering uh, the banner of protection that um, makes uh, us makes us his, and as governor, uh, he he's the one that uh, prevails in this instance. Father, we're grateful for your hand of of uh, beneficence, you, your hand that. Um, releases the quality of life that uh, that is due us and uh, we associate ourselves with doing properly that the order of life the ordering of life would be commiserate in finding us keeping us prevailing in us, uh, guiding our conversation, our communion, and uh, at this juncture, ordering a consecration. Ah, uh, God, ordering a consecration because we took time to check in, and uh, uh, you've already called the role, and you've already sent your finger of divine love caused our golden moments to hitch up 
to the chariot of time and roll on just a little while longer. We're grateful. We're thankful. And it is out of this great sense of appreciation and of uh, a delightsome joy that we celebrate in the power of your might today. Jesus is our governor. Uh, Matthew 2 verses 5 and 6 uh, provides the standard of faith walking today. It says, for thus it is written by the prophet, and thou Bethlehem, the house of bread, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor, new God, that shall rule my people Israel. <laughs> the governor is coming out of uh, Judah, y'all, and he is ruling. The ruler is coming out of Judah, and he's ruling. <laughs> He's ruling. The meditation uh, that in part rises from uh, 1 John 2.27 or I, John, as the anointed one, Christ is our teacher, our governor, through the ministry that is provided him under the authority of the Holy Spirit. This teaching is an abiding sustenance in our ongoing relationship. The more we desire to be taught, the more we release ourselves into the classroom of his anointing. And this pure implanting or pure impartation of God causes revelation as well as celebration. So as governor, he is specifically interested in uh, the district of our living, uh, our, our avenue, our, our court for me, I live within a court uh, um, in, the, in this community. Uh, it's, 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 it's set apart, it's designated. Uh, if I dial 911, the police know where it is. <laughs> uh, it's in that area. They just need my specific address. And it's quite evident. God knows my address. He knows yours. For he has not skipped over somebody else. Um, he knows where they are as well. So he is the one who has authority to direct our lives because by his grace, we live where he has, in a sense, marked off our place of abode. And he directs life and living measures from his high esteemed uh, providential place and released upon our addresses in every room where we where we shower where we eat where we dress where we prepare to go out into the world of activity he lives in the state capital of our soul and we follow his decrees and his ordinances his word is our standard for living and his discipline is our ransom, our pardon, uh, <laughs> our alignment. For thus it is written by the prophet, and thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor, thank you, Lord, that shall rule my people Israel. Rule today, O oh Lord, from your stately capital of uh, rulership. And we, we celebrate the host 
of such a blessing on this 13th day. Now, now y'all one more time, um, permit me to slide right behind <laughs> uh, this little spot where I'm sitting and let me, because this the table that was there, uh, we, we, we moved it yesterday uh, for my little for my little grand uh, daughter, uh, she loves to she loves to crawl right right along up in here, and I moved the table so that she would not have any any difficulty. My my little my little bag with the uh, my communion set is right here on this other side. I'll uh, keep addressing you as I uh, walk over here and come back and. Um, uh, resume, uh, <laughs> resume this time of uh, interaction uh, during this uh, devotional period. Uh, I have received of the Lord that which now I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. He established uh, what's mine and, and I'm going to govern it. As um, as I see fit and as you need it, uh, so uh, here, here here is my body. Here here is my body, and I I look forward to celebrating the Lord's Supper in the morning because I, I know the pharmaceutical companies uh, are now are coming to points where they are able to provide uh, a kind of vaccine that uh, is specifically and strategically designed to avert um, the, uh, the sway over corona and its virus. But I've always said until, and, I, and I, I'm going to do it even after the vaccine becomes available. I've taken my, my flu shot uh, for this year. Um, but it didn't stop me from also embracing uh, the greatest virus preventer, the greatest um, antidote for any level that sin would seek uh, to introduce into the environment that we are living in. And um, on a hill, as I borrow from the hymnologist, far away stood an old rugged cross, and on that cross, um, the one who died for that which could kill me, he died so that I could live. He took, he, he, he took the virus before we knew about it and provided a remedy to each one of us. And he sits at that table with his learners, with his followers, and said, uh, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do. Take this in uh, from me. Uh, I'm not only your governor, but I'm, I'm your doctor <laughs> for whatever else you're in. Uh, um, uh, take this insulation in. And, and, and I, I, I attribute this bread, uh, this body of our Lord as the insulator for everything that would attack our physical frames. He insulates us from it. Uh, so as I get closer to Thanksgiving and some uh, are, are asking, uh, uh, who, who are you going to have in, in your house for... <laughs> <laughs> for uh, for Thanksgiving, um, uh, I'm uh, since every day is a day of Thanksgiving, I'm having uh, the persons I give God thanks for every day. My wife, my sons, my my granddaughters, um, uh, my our daughter in love. That that covering is upon us, and we're grateful that because of the daily interacting, give us this day our daily bread. Yeah, this, 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 this is the insulator 
And since uh, Corona would attack our uh, respiratory system, I, 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 just, be, I just believe uh, this, this bread that we, we sanctify every day takes on the quality of prevention. Uh, and uh, I do my meds. Uh, the doctor said, do this. I, I do my meds. I follow the doctor prescriptions. I wear my mask. I, I, I respect the six foot social distancing, but I'm, I'm up close, uh, personal, <laughs> with, with my Lord and with my Savior. And um, I wash my hands. A baptism takes place every day uh, in this house, and uh, I'm under the waters uh, uh, every, every 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 morning. I'm under the water. I'm washing. I'm washing and throughout the day. So I lift this bread in personal homage and uh, personal te a testament before the Lord, and out of this synchronization of prayer. I pray the governing hand of God, hallelujah, to cover this household, me personally, my wife personally, my son personally, that, that are in this house from the front to the back door, every window, every crack and crevice where the enemies against us would try to creep in and nullify the hand of the Lord. No, there is no, no ground here. We give, we're, we're giving up. We, we thank God for the insulation that we now partake of in the name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Every inhaling and every exhaling is nothing but a praise. Nothing but thanks. Properly positioned of our Lord and of our Savior in our lives. Empowering us for daily living today on this 13th. Then he says, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. And wherein the bread represents the insulation this New Testament offers inspiration, this blood. And, and I says, I, I say inspiration because everywhere I have arteries and veins, everywhere I have arteries and veins, that's the highway. This blood, this which represents the blood of our Lord travels from the crown of my head to the very sole of my feet. I can hear the psalmist at that moment saying, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So govern, uh, govern any attack that would come, any infestation that would come. It has to go through the irrigation system that uh, is already prevailing in this mortal frame. In the name of the Father, hallelujah. In the name of the Son, thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Holy Ghost and all of the people of God said, amen and amen. So um, this theme music that's running under our devotional period today uh, by Merlin Divine and uh, Merlin has given name to this music as Breathe <laughs> Breathe and that's my word to you on this on this Friday Breathe and let the governing power of God insulate you our God, from the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet. And may this governing agency of our Lord be aggressively purifying your veins, 
your arteries, the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, and giving you reason to give praise to Almighty God for everything that would annihilate you comes up against even Jesus who died so that we could live. He stayed dead long enough <laughs> to provide a purging for anything that would come and try in a sidetracking way to take us from the enveloping hand and righteousness of our God. So now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God of our Father, be glory. <laughs> be glory. Hallelujah. Be, be glory. Be authority. Be his dominion in every area of our lives throughout this day, this 13th day, and in more than 13 different ways, insulation working, inspiration prevailing, and in everything that hath breath. <laughs> Just give praise to Almighty Thank you, Marilyn, for such a music and such prevailing theme of breathe on today. Enjoy it, my brother. Enjoy it to my sister. Enjoy your weekend. And never let it end. It gets, old folks says, it gets gooder and gooder. <laughs> I know. Yes, sir. Mama, Mama Liga, God bless y'all. Bless you and your household. Tan, God bless. 35, 27, God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. Keep on walking on up the King's Highway. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. HotJoyRadio.com Priest to the prayer. Yours truly, Pastor Ron Jonah. Enjoy your day. God bless. For the mic challenge, Rejoice Musical Soul Food takes us out this morning. <laughs>